down and try to figure out with bar associations, progressive governors, and everything else, what I can do to get 100% of people to vote. Our goal wants to be 100%. And the claim that 63% voted in 60 and 62% this year. Mm -hmm. I've already told uh, Dick Russell, some of them, that we're going to try to get everybody to register. And that those that don't register, we're going to register them postmasters. That the congressmen nominate them and the senators confirm them and they're bound to be good men, even in Mississippi and Georgia. But well, we're going to see that the attorney general and the postmaster general got the flanks and whatever they need and that they're registered. If they get halfway qualified. And uh, he, he growled a little bit, but uh, that may not be the way. I don't know. I want you to, I want you to undertake the greatest midnight uh, uh, legislative drafting that's happened since Corcoran and Cohen wrote the Holding Company Act. All right. On that, I, I basically believe that if we can have a simple method of getting them registered. Now, if, they, if the state laws are too high and uh, they disqualify a bunch of them, maybe we can go into Supreme Court and get them held unconstitutional. Or if uh, the registrars make them stand in line too long, maybe we can work that out where the postmasters can do it. Uh, let's find some way a that we... problem, you know, under the Constitution. Yes, that's right. They, I know that. Now, how can we beat it? Can we uh, can we beat that some way? It's uh, well we've we've tried hard to uh, to uh, beat it, and of course that's what we have in the act that you got through, and then these modifications of it uh, in the uh, last thing, the 57, 60, and then now. Are you familiar with all those problems? No, I'm really not. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we are really doing, but yeah. I know there's a constitutional amendment, Mr. President, to, you know, just flatly have federal officials register for federal elections. Well, let's do that. Let's, okay. let's, let's shoot at that. Let's recommend that. If you can't well, do it any other way. Well, let's go into all the other alternatives. And then, uh, let's just get, let's get the best people you've got. Now, Joe Rao has been talking about postmasters. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you can do. And we're going to need it pretty quick. All right. Now, number two, uh, this damn Roy says that you're pussyfooting on prosecuting civil rights people. Who says that? Oh, uh, Royce. Royce, a congressman from Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he announced out here to the Panay Breath in Wisconsin that he's protesting that Johnson's pussyfooting. Now, I don't know whether you know Royce or not. I'm going to make up and tell him to quit saying that about us. It's not I know true. Royce. I know, right. And I think you ought to call him and say, what in the goddamn hell are you talking about? I've got 200 FBI men working here every day, and I've caught them in Georgia, and I've caught them in Mississippi, and I've got these tests for the Supreme Court. Now, what in the hell are you wanting to hit your administration for? And what are we doing on Montgomery? Are we moving on that? On Montgomery? Yeah, that, that bomb yesterday. Yes, yeah, sure. being investigated. We, every one of those, we go move right away on, Mr. President. Bureau goes into those right away. They won nine nothing up in the court this morning. Did you see that? No, but that's wonderful. On the constitutionality. Yeah, and they went the whole way, both cases, so we got the whole of Title II unequivocally uh, constitutional. Well, why don't you dictate a statement for I've me? I've got one coming over. I'll give it to George Reedy. Please do. Uh, that shows us now. I uh, thought something on the order that... Uh, uh, two presidents had recommended it and supported it. Congress had overwhelmingly supported it. The court had decided it nine to nothing. Let's get on. Uh, now, uh, that's good. Now, uh, is there any question about Connors of Merck and Company showing up with any trouble over at your shop? No, sir. He was very cooperative. They told me on the Cuban thing. He's, didn't a, he? he's a fine yes, and he's a, I know him quite well. He's a, he's a fine fellow. Now the only. You have, we might have some civil problems with Merck from time to time on antitrust 
uh, because of the nature of that industry, but there's been nothing that would reflect on uh, Jack Connors. Would you mind uh, looking at his name check and writing me a letter and say, Mr. President, pursuant to your request about Connor, yeah. I've known him a good while. He's been cooperative with the government. He's worked in public interest. I think he's a good man just to, yeah. so that I'll know. Yeah. And would you tell the FBI to go around the clock uh, with everything they've got to get as far along as they can by next Monday night? Uh, on anything they, they might run into. They, they did a full field on him some while ago. I'd seen it, and so it's just a question of updating. Well, uh, they tell me they're not going to have it ready, so make them go as far and fast as they can. All right. Uh, so let's see. Now that takes care of the Connor uh, thing. Uh, now, if you've got any other imagination uh, or anybody around you that's a dreamer, let's get it into it any of your programs, juvenile delinquency or uh, immigration or anything. We haven't got much uh, creative thinking in our message to go to Congress, and uh, if we're going to have four years here, well, I'd like to, for you to think and for me to think uh, what they're going to say about uh, what we uh, proposed and what we achieved in this next four years. Uh, so I sure wish that you'd uh, pull in any inside people you got thinking and any outside ones you get and see if uh, you can't get over to Bill Moyers by the end of the week, anything else that you could supplement what you've already done. Uh -huh. He tells me really that he, that we kind of, some of our top counselors from some of these schools say our cabinet's not as creative as it ought to be, and I thought I had the best cabinet in the world. So you just uh, get anybody that you know, you've got a wonderful academic background and and you got a practical one here, and you show you can work the Congress. Now try to get some of these thinkers and scratch your tail. Let's see what we can do with the playground or the juveniles or the governors or anything else that you can propose. Do you think we ought to have a constitutional framework?